All right, so I'll make another tech tech. <clears throat> um, this is my Esper uh, Esper tokens, you know, but it had it was like originally going for a control deck. Yeah, so all right, we're gonna start off with three Invisible Stalkers. You know, the two drop one one hex proof unblockable. And uh, since it is tokens, like you'll have instants and sorceries in the grave, so Rune Chanter Spike on him, bash in for the for the beatdown plan. All right, and um, I play four Vampire Nighthawks. I like to put Pike on him as well, and uh, gain a good bit of life. Also, he's a removal card as well. Um, and then I run three Attended Knights card that people don't really see very often, but it's actually really good. It's, it's got first strike, and then when it comes out on the battlefield, you get a 1-1 soldier token, which is pretty decent in my book. And, uh, of course, Fiend Hunter, Exile Creature. Yeah, that's, that's your removal creature there. Alright, now we get into the, uh, the spells. Alright, and I run, um, four Lingering Souls. You know, I got gotta have four Lingering Souls. I got lucky and found a fourth one recently. Like I said, all these decks are budget, and a lot of time I'm making them for my own pile of cards. And then uh, I got three Midnight Haulings, which I would have a fourth one if I if I had a fourth. And then um, I run four Gather the Townsfolk, which would be three. Like I said, if I had the fourth Midnight Hauling. But uh, I do like the Fateful Hour on it. You get five tokens if you're a five life. And with Intangible Virtue out, that's pretty good. And speaking of Intangible Virtue, I run three of them. Uh, I think running four might be a little bit too much because, like, one on the field at a time is, is fine. That's, that's good enough, really. And then I run a. Uh, now we're into the removal. I run four. Azorius Charm, you know, I, I, it's really good. You know, you can draw a card or, like, say you swing in with all those dudes and you need to gain some life. I like, I actually do give my creatures life link sometimes. And, uh, another removal card people don't see that often. Uh, I, I use Negate. I, I like Negate. You know, just counter their non creature spell. Um,. And then O-Ring, you know, that's, that's versatile and get rid of any things you need to get rid of. And then the, the two pikes, two room changer spikes, you know, plus X plus zero for each uh, incident or sorcery in your graveyard. Alright, and um, we'll move into the lands. Alright, I'll run, uh, like I said, budget, so three... Glacial Fortress and uh, two Azorius Gilgate. Uh, one Drown Catacomb. I had two. I thought. Oh, I do have two. I just thought it was a. I just thought it was a Gilgate. All right, and a Demir Gilgate, and then uh, four Orzhov Gilgates. Might cut that down to three and add a Plains because this is a lot of white kind of feels more like a white weenie kind of and then one two three four five six planes yay and then two islands and three swamps I don't have any specialty lands like I was thinking about putting my Nefali in here I might but I kind of hate those drown yard fights they uh they tend to get kind of annoying looking and not quite fun to me. But uh, this deck works pretty good. It, uh, like I said, for budget, it, it it it'll let you hang with with people that are running, you know, uh, internet deck lists. I mean, it you can go to an F and M with these decks easily and uh, have a good time. 
not just sit there on the bottom of the list, you know, like 0 and 5. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Just build up those tokens, bash in for win. But uh, yeah, um, if you like it, let me know.